Hello guys, Mars Fremens here. This is the second video of my two video tutorial series how to set up Mocha for All motion tracking software for Unreal Engine 4. With Motion for All you can use any camera, including your phone camera, for motion tracking. In this tutorial I can show you how to set up GPU version of Mocha for All that better suits the newer generation GPUs. The biggest advantage is the software gonna run better, you're gonna uh, be able to add more cameras and it's just gonna get overall better experience. Downside is the setup is a bit more trickier, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you what to do. Before we start, as always, if you enjoy my video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's jump into it. So first we're gonna download GPU version of the software. It's separated in two parts, so we're gonna download both files. After that, we're gonna go to the bottom to download Unreal Engine Receiver project. Make sure you're downloading Unreal Engine 4 project. Extract each file separately. If you can extract them at the same time, you may get an error when you're launching the software. Now let's combine both of the folders. And let's just delete everything else. Let's extract under Legend 4 receiver project. Close this. Now open up mockup for all folder and before we are running the software you would need to print out these two photos that we're going to use later on in the video. These images are going to be used to calibrate your camera. Next thing is we need to download good toolkit. All links are going to be down below and you can install it. Next we're going to go to the CUD DNN archive and we're going to search for 6.0.2 version. Let's find the download for the window. Uh, it's right here. Let's download that. After that, need to go to the C disk, program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkits, CUDA version 11. Then let's open the downloaded file and select everything, copy and paste in the folder. Bam. Next, we need to download Tensor RT version 7.1 GA. Uh, let's find again install for Windows. It's right here. Let's download it. Now open up the downloaded folder, press copy and paste it in an NVIDIA folder. I already did it so I'm not gonna do it but it's here. Files are here. Next thing what we have to do is to search for the edit the system environment variables. Let's open it up. Make sure that you are in advanced and let's press environment variables. So here you need to make sure that CUDA path is set to CUDA installation location. Next we need to make sure the path is set correctly. Uh, if it's not, you can always press new and set it up. Let's press edit and your path need to look like this. If it's not, then uh, you're gonna get an error. Uh, it's not gonna find DLL files. If it's not, then you can press new and enter there. Next, we need to create two custom variables. Uh, I'm gonna list them down below in the comments. So first variable that we are copying is we're gonna uh, enable the cache. So we can enter the value one and we can press okay. And next we're gonna set the cache temporary location. You can set it whatever you want. I'm gonna set in the C disk temp folder. And if you didn't skip any step, then we can just open up the application and you shouldn't get any error and it should be all fine. Before we set up the camera, I just wanna show this picture from developer. He showcased how he set up his two camera setup, which is the minimum. You can use definitely more cameras. The more cameras you're gonna have, the more accurate that motion tracking gonna be. And as you can see, one of the papers that I said gonna be used for camera calibration, gonna need to be placed on the floor and it's direction specific. So make sure that the paper is facing the correct direction. Now we can press add camera, choose our camera, in the next step, we're gonna use other tracking paper, or you can just face the camera in front of the screen. Either way is fine and it works pretty well both ways. Main purpose here is for the camera just to track that paper or the screen uh, in different angles. In that way, you're just calibrating it. And the second calibration calibrates the paper on the floor. And now you just repeat the same process for the rest of your cameras. And you can rotate the camera if it's necessary. After the setup is done, we can press start capture and get in the front of the cameras and enjoy the mock-up. As you can see, it looks pretty good. There's some weird stuff that's happening, but I'm gonna talk about it more at the end of the video. 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Unreal Engine Receiver Sample Project. Just press yes and let it compile the plugins. I'm sure the most of you are interested how we can use this with MetaHumans, so let's download one and let's set it up. So let's go to the MetaHuman folder and open up MetaHuman Blueprint. Next let's press the class settings and in the parent class write track and choose track to control rig and then compile and save and we can close this. Now let's scroll down and delete sample transfer cubes and we can also delete all these cubes, we don't need them anymore. Bam! Next thing we're just gonna drop the MetaHuman Blueprint. Let's change the LOD, go here, put zero. Nice, now she has a hair at least. Okay, let's rotate her. So it's facing the camera, nice. Uh, we're gonna change the light source to movable so we can get rid of that error. And that's it, now we can just press play and put both of the applications side by side and look at this, the mockup is working. For the version 0.1 it actually software works pretty well. Camera setup is tricky, like you know you need to align two cameras and uh, as I'm tall guy I'm 6.2, uh, calibration is pain in the ass because I need to move cameras pretty far away, then it doesn't track that paper on the floor, I need to print bigger paper and in the settings I max out a lot of stuff but still the human looks a bit weird and I still think it's because of my height so I hope developers just gonna increase the option to stretch a bit like the lower body and upper body but in general I like it and anyways guys thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye